Madam Deputy Speaker, today after the news broke late yesterday, I'm very proud to rise and celebrate the fact that the Dirk Dirk, as it's now called, the fishing trawler, previously known as the Geelong Star, has left Australian waters for good. And this is a, an, a fantastic outcome. And I am so incredibly proud to have stood up for the people of Corangamite, for the environmentalists, for the people who love our oceans and for recreational fishers, um, men, women and their kids in campaigning to have this trawler banned. And I do want to particularly commend the Assistant Minister for Agriculture, Senator Anne Rustin, with whom I have worked very, very closely on this issue. And uh, the, the Dutch owners, Van der Plaat, made a statement late yesterday saying that they could no longer reach commercial agreement with the Australian operators of the Geelong Star. And what an absolute, what an absolute embarrassment it was for our city for that trawler to be named after our great city. It's wonderful that it's been renamed. It's wonderful that it's on its way Indeed. to uh, Holland. Yeah. And I am incredibly proud, despite the fact that the quota, of course, the fishing quota was set by the previous Labor government, I'm incredibly proud that through a lot of grassroots advocacy, we will hopefully see the end of what was known as the Geelong Star. In my electorate of Corangamite, which includes 188 kilometres of magnificent coastline, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, there was vehement opposition to this trawler. Uh, I've long campaigned for a ban. I've always questioned the science, and it's been pretty disgraceful when you saw the carnage, the number of protected uh, marine mammals uh, who were, uh, which were killed as a result. So a great day for the environment Members and for our oceans.